G'day guys, welcome back. I've got a something little exciting thing to do today. I'm gonna to see if I can pour resin into a glove <laughs> um, and then hopefully have it stand up um, and then you can put rings and bracelets and things on it. So yeah, <laughs> I have no idea if it's gonna work, whether or not <clears throat> the um, glove is strong enough to hold the resin. So I've got mine in here. Uh, what I prepared, pre prepared the other day, and I'll show you what I did. I just found a long, tall container, something that will be able to stretch a glove over it. And then I pulled it down enough so that hopefully when the resin um, fills the gloves, the gloves aren't going to sink too far and hit the bottom. Otherwise, we're going to have flat, fat fingers. So again, I'm not sure if I've raised it enough. So that's what I did and then um, I just put elastic band on it, folded it over twice and so that's what I did. Right and then I also put some lines on it only because I want this one to be kind of rainbow colours so I thought that'll give me an idea of the layers to pour it in. So I'm going to start with the lightest, I'm going to go yellow, orange, red, green, blue gr and purple are my colours. So not in the traditional um, order, but I just wanted the sort of lightest to darkest. So I have got a little bit of resin here on the side and uh, it's the Platinum 360 Plus. I thought I would do, because you know most of my colours are all packed, I thought I'll just do some um, alcohol inks because I've still got some of those and I thought that would be pretty because it's kind of transparent. So yellow, in this one, um, lemon yellow is that one. Now I'm just, I had a little bit of resin left over so I poured it into a little mold over there so I'm just doing a little practice. <laughs> I'm practicing my pea trees. Um, so yeah, I'm doing that. I shouldn't have stirred that up quite so vigorously because obviously you can't torch. Once that's gone in there, no torching. Right, now when you put your glove out, these three fingers are the longest, so they're going to have the yellow in them. This one will start with orange, and then this one, because it's the shortest, it'll just be red, I think. So just I'm just going to do these three for now. So hopefully it'll work. I actually might get you down next to me so that we can see what it looks like filling up. What do you think? Otherwise you can't see. Hang on one sec. Right, that's better, isn't it? Right, let me get my glove back on. All right, here we go. Now, how am I gonna see which finger it goes in? Um, I'll just pour and hopefully, is that going into a finger? Let me have a look. Yes, it is. All right, I'm looking in through the top and seeing where I need to pour. So that's the next finger. Woohoo! All right, now this one's going to be a little bit tricky, I think. Where are you, little finger? Oh gosh, it's kind of a bit squished in the side there. That one. Um, so I've got to get in, in there. How am I going to get that? Hmm. I'll come around the other side, see if I can do it from, mm, hang on, okay this is going to be tricky. I think once all the fingers are opened, so to speak, I think it'll be all right. I'm going to try and open that a little bit. There we go. Just using a little stick to try and open that area that I need to get into. Actually I might hold that open. I need another pair of hands. Can someone help me? Hold that open and then Yay, I'm doing it! Pouring that in. Okay, is that enough? A little bit over. Alright, that's okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I'm going to try and get a little bit more in this middle finger. Just want to try and get it up to the lines. If possible. But because of the glove's been pulled down my opening 
or I'm pouring into is kind of narrowed, it's closing over a little bit. So, I'll just do my best, try and get in there with a thin stream. A little bit more in these last two, and I've got a bit of yellow resin left. Not much I can do with yellow resin, is there? There we go. All right, so I used the 360 plus because <laughs> this first finger's got a bit much um, because um, it sets up pretty quick. I'll be able to do another layer in um, a couple of hours. Okay, that'll do. It doesn't have to be doesn't have to be perfect. I mean, we try and get it as perfect as possible, but it doesn't have to be perfect. Um, I must tell you, full disclosure, that I did try this. Uh, about a week ago or so and um, I just poured I made it black resin and I just poured um, it straight in like filled it all up and you can guess what it did it um, <laughs> it flash cured um, the glove melted <laughs> smoke came out the whole container filled up with resin and um, it was a total mess just as well I was using this plastic one and um, I could just peel all the resin out. So don't do that. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it again and I'm doing it more slowly. I'm, I'm doing layers. So hopefully, hopefully that will do. All right, so that's the first layer. So next time when I come back, I'll do this little finger here with orange and then the yellow will have a layer of orange. And then we will keep going, unless of course these flash cure and burst. So wish me luck. Hopefully I'll see you soon. Right, so I'm back with the second layer and the first layer looks as if it's worked. No problems so far. So the next layer is going to be orange and the, the Let's Resin inks that I've got don't have an orange. So this is Deco Rom Tangerine. So let's do that one. Let's get my gloves back on. And put a little little squirt in there and we'll see how that looks see how that's going to go we can always add a little bit more can't we now just make sure that you don't have any streaks otherwise it'll show up and it's not very attractive I'm just using my little paper cup because um, I don't want to waste a big plastic cup <laughs> rather waste a little paper cup Although, I could let it dry and then use it again, couldn't I? I should stir slowly so I don't get bubbles. Um, how's that going to look? I think that's dark enough, isn't it? Yep, we'll see how that goes. Alright, so now it's going to go on those three that I've done and this little pinky, pinky finger up here. What I'm going to try and do is I'm going to use this stick to try and kind of open up that little pinky finger area. Let's see if I can do that so that I can actually pour this down. I've made a little spout. I want to see if I can open it, kind of pull it towards me a little bit. There we go, look I'm doing it. How's that looking? Can't see. I'm going to try and just go up to the line, the little black line that I've got there. Is that the first line or have I gone over? Oh, I'm looking at the wrong line. Oh gosh, have I gone over? Might have gone over. That's all right, I can try and... It's a bit tricky, isn't it, when you go over? I don't know if I can get any out. I'll have to try and take some out. I was looking at the other line. All right, let's see if I can go in and do a little bit on this one. I'll go slower so I can actually see what I'm doing. All right, that's up to there. The middle one, yeah, you know, you've got to pour carefully so that you don't hit the sides. Oh gosh, a little bit more. So I just made up um, 25 grams of A and uh, 11 grams of B with the 360 plus resin. A little bit more. Okay, and now the last one. Try and get into that one without overflowing the one next to it. So far, so good, you guys. All 
And I am going to go have to try and suck some resin out of that other finger, though, out of the pinky. Um, because that's, that's too much. I need to bring it back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find a syringe or a pipette or something and see if I can suck some of that out. So I'm going to go and do that. Get my glove off. Um, and then um, I'll come back to you when we're ready for the third layer, which is going to be this one, the red. Righto. Are we ready for the next one? <laughs> now, this is the little syringe I used uh, just to pop it in like that. You can see it there. And suck some out. And then I, to clean it, I put a little bit of my 100% alcohol into a little cup like this. And I just went swish, 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 like this. Cleaning that out. And as you can see, it works perfectly again. So that's what I used. Right, let's get to it now. Today, um, let's resin red. If I can focus, red. So I better put my glove back on. Otherwise, I'll... No doubt stain my fingers red. So let's do a few drops. And we'll see what three looks like. So I made up the same amount again. I did 50 grams of A and 22 grams of B. We'll do another one. So still using the Platinum 360 Plus pretty late in the day today. I've, <laughs> I've only just started resining. I've had to do other things this morning. Now I'm just looking at that red next to that orange. Do I want to do another drop? Um, no, I think it'll be alright. It'll be alright. It's four drops. All right, put that one away. Make sure we've got no streaks going on in there. Okay. Are we ready? Are we ready? Now, this one, I have to do the thumb as well. So, if I can't get the resin in, in there, that's where it's got to go, into this one here. If I can't get it in there, I might use the little syringe. But um, I'll do the others first. All right, here we go. I'm not sure at what stage they're going to like cover each other because at the moment they're just doing fingers but if I go any more than that see that across they're going to fill up across the top which I think probably today will be the day yes they will be now let me just see I need to go around the other side and try and get in where's my little stick I'm just going to use this again Try and open that area up and pour in there. Is that the line I'm going to? I think that's the line I'm going to. Yes, so it looks as if now all the lines are going to meet up. I'm going to pour in over the top. Hang on, you can't see what I'm doing now, can you? Get my glove off. I'll have to bring you up a little bit higher. See what I mean now? I look in there, all the little, these little pieces have now all been filled up, so the rest of it's just going to all fill up as one, except for that thumb. I need to get into that thumb, which is still there, into that one. That's the one I've got to get into. Um, right, let me get my glove back on. So, be first. All right, let's see if I can pour into that area there. Whoops, I tip it on an angle. There we go. Oh, look, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. All right. How far is that? Oh, that's pretty good. Tiny bit more. I don't think I've actually made up enough for this particular row. 
because now I'm doing all five of the fingers. Is a thumb a finger? I might, <laughs> I'm probably short like half an ounce. Look, that's how much I'm short. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I got in there into the thumb. I'm gonna have to make up, I'm gonna put you back up here on the tripod. I am gonna have to make up a tiny bit more. Right, I just made up another. I did um, 12 grams of A and five grams of B. That's just the same, um, like I didn't add any extra color because it's looking a bit dark. I'm actually just gonna pour this in a tiny bit more into the thumb. Now that I'm looking at it, I think if I had to do this again, I think I would try and do like a little bit of each color in each finger. Like put a little bit in the pinky, a little bit of yellow in the pinky and a little bit of yellow in the thumb and then the orange and then like have all colors but the obviously the two outside ones will not have as much of each color but still have the same colors in them so i'm thinking that's probably what um i would do if i was doing it again i'm just gonna use all this up so yeah i think that's just so that they the each of the fingers have all got all the colors so that's, anyway, that was just an afterthought. I'm sure it's still going to look really pretty. So let me get my glove off. All right, let's have a little, have a little look. Here we go. So that's what it looks like. Now the lines, they're just, just for, you know, estimation. So now the next one will be green. And then blue and then the purple will fill it up all right well we'll see you in a few hours for the next layer right next layer is green and i'm going to go with this one it's just called green by let's resin so let's add one two three four we'll see how four goes now with these other layers I did 25 grams of A and um, 12 grams of B. So with this one, now that I'm getting bigger layers, I've made up 50 grams of A and 22 grams of B. So I'll probably have some left over. I took some clear resin out and just put it in a little petri over there on the side. I'm just practicing my little petris. <laughs> you know, the alcohol inks. So I'm just practicing those. But uh, yeah, as you get further up, you will need a little bit more. Uh, I think that's dark enough. Let's go one more. One more, because that red's quite dark. We didn't need to have it that dark. I just had a thought. I was looking down the, the center there. This, this glove that I've used, it's one of those lightly powdered gloves. So I'm really hoping that it's not going to have like this powdery residue or something on the outside once it's done. I, I, I didn't think about it earlier. And it's the only gloves that I've got. Um, my other gloves are packed. So again, we'll just have to see what happens. It, it might not work. Well, I may have to like give it a top coat or something. I guess I could always spray it with some um, clear, like a clear varnish, I guess. All right, here goes the green. Oh, look at it. So we haven't made our way to the thumb yet. I wonder which how far I have to go oh, the next color the next color will go up and over into the thumb you just pull that and I just tip it a little bit actually so I can get that green in there oh, hardly got any left actually look at that 
I'm going to stand back here and have a look. Okay, I need a little bit more for the, the thumb. Yeah, so the next layer will go over that. See, the, the thumb is like touching <laughs> the fingers. It's, it's, it's like this. They're not like that. It's like that. So hopefully I'll be able to get the glove out. All right, so that's it. I'll just scrape what I've got left. Um, and then that will be it. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have taken any out for my little pea trees. So the next one I will need the same amount. See that? We're almost, almost going to go over that little lip there into the thumb. So that will be the next one. That will be blue. So that'll be soon. Right, so uh, here we go. Next day, next layer. Blue, sapphire blue. Now I've made up more resin this time because we're getting to this wider part here now. We're up here, sort of. So, and it's quite wide, um, as well as quite deep that way. So, um, I've made up. 75 grams of A and 32 grams of B. I'm just crossing all my fingers and toes that this, the weight of the resin isn't going to make my glove tear and all fall down. That's what I'm, I'm worried about. So I'm just going to try and get the last two layers done and get it out before the weight of it makes it tear and it all falls in. But hopefully it'll be all right, hey? Hopefully... Okay, that's, I think that's dark enough for the blue. That was five drops. So we'll get this done, and then I've only got the purple to do. Give it a really good stir. You don't want any streaks. Okay, here we go. Let's just pour it in. Now, I did go with the green. I went a little bit over my line that I had there. So I'm just making them kind of equal to what the like the size or the, the height of the colours below was. So I think that's, I think that'll do. Yep, that'll do. I've got a tiny bit left. So, all right, let me show you what that looks like. Almost there. And then the top will just be purple, but I'm not sure how, like how high, probably only go to like in, in there. I don't want it to sort of come up over the top because then it would flare out at the bottom. So that's it there. Yep, so one more layer. Rightio. Yay, the last layer. How exciting. And it's held, so fingers crossed it can handle one more layer. Not sure, you know, what the weight has to be for it to collapse and tear, but so far so good all right last one purple that's resin purple and get the lid off it's just spinning around and around all right. all right let's see if there's a kitty lock on it there we go purple one two three let's try three see what that looks like in hindsight hindsight's a wonderful thing in hindsight i think i would prefer to have them all more transparent but um, because they're quite dark, I'm going to have to darken this one. One, two, three, another three. So, yeah, so I've got a lot of, I've learnt a lot. There's a lot of things that I would do differently with the next one. Um, I don't know if I'll do a next one. <laughs> but, yeah, I have these ideas of things that I want to do and then I've done them and I go, yep, done it, move on. So, we'll see. I think that looks like a nice colour. That'll do. That'll do. Right out. So, like I said, last one. Now I'm just not quite sure how much I'm going to put in. We'll see. See how much it takes. And with this resin, you could actually pour this whole thing in two days. You know, three layers each day. But because life kind of gets in the way, it's taken me three days, two layers a day. I can't really see how much I'm doing that because of this lip here. So I can't actually 
see, let's see if I'm bending right down. Let's see if I can have a look like through the top there. So again, I'm trying to make all the layers consistent, you know, all about the same. But it's a little bit tricky to see. I don't know that you'll be able to see either, but... Let's go and have a little look, a little peekaboo. Um, let's turn it around. bit hard to see isn't it <laughs> see it's hard to see what's going on in there but I think I think it'll be all right <laughs> look at that uh, I probably it would have been good to have a wider container as well so that the thumb and the fingers aren't sort of touching but that's all I had all right so there it is and yeah we get to unmold it in the morning looking forward to that so I'll see you then Hey guys, I'm a bit excited. It's the time to unmold my hand. Look. All right. So let's get this elastic band off. Kookaburra's outside watching me. They're going, feed me. Don't do a video. Feed me. One just flew at the window. <laughs> Trying to get my attention. Yes, I can see you, but I'm busy. All right. Now, let's get the glove off. All the way around. I'm glad I didn't damage my container. Let's hope it comes out. Look, it's coming out. Yay! Oh my gosh, look. <laughs> it's come out. All right. It's just got to be weight in it, hasn't it? So it's quite narrow there, and at the, at the top here, it's um, actually quite wide. All right, let's get this off. Now, let's see if the plastic will come off. Oh, gosh. I was worried there. It wasn't moving. Let's peel it back. It's coming off. It's going to take a while. Oh, you get a little join there with each, with the colour. Each colour change is a little, like a little crease. I guess that's what happens when you, um, you do layers. Oop, the tearing. I'll pick that out later. Let's, get, let's just get most of it off and then I can get those little bits out later on, hey? Because it's going to be a bit tricky, I think, to pick those little pieces out. It might not be too bad, but it'll just take me a little bit of time to, to get those out. <laughs> oh, it's going to come off in bits now, is it? I hope not. I'm going to tear it. Okay. Let me just go and get this off and I'll come back to you. Radio. There we go. <laughs> I've got most of it off. Oh, and there's a tiny little bit stuck in just in there, but I'm going to use my little sharp tooly thing and I'll just I'll get that out but I'll do that later so there we go look at that so yeah next time definitely change a few things it's just so that the um the fingers were sort of more spread open so I need a wider container it still needs to be narrow at the top to fit the glove over the top but then it needs to kind of needs to come like this and then kind of flare out a little bit more so I have in my mind like something that would work, but I wanted to just try it. There you go. Look at that. It's turned out really nice. I'm going to just um, see if I can get a shot of it sort of against the, um, with the light behind it. Mm, no, hang on one sec. How's that? Got a little bit of light behind it. And don't you touch it. Yes, I'm talking to you. So it's a little bit, a bit tricky. I haven't got much light here at the moment. It's still really early, but 
it did have, when I was looking at it with my ring light, it had a bit of transparency on it. So, <laughs> well, there it is anyway. Uh, I'll take a photo um, when I've got a little bit more sun coming through. Oh, well, excuse me. Um, is that right? I'm busy. I'm busy. What do you want? Hmm? Magpie. Aussie magpie. What do you want? Hey. You want your food, don't you? <laughs> I'll get you something in a minute. I'm busy. Alright, back to the hand. There we go. Oh, there's a little bit of light coming through. I'm just waiting for the sun to come. So you can see that it's got a little bit of transparency, a bit of purple there, a bit of blue, <coughs> green, red, orange and yellow. So there it is. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed that video. Sorry if it was a bit long. Always fun to do experiments, isn't it? All right. And I will see you for the next video. All right. Bye for now.